Hello everyone, welcome back to Abandoned Minds of Pennsylvania. Today I wanted to cover the carbide light, which we had mentioned previously in our video on underground lighting. Uh, but today I wanted to go a little bit more in depth with it. So a little bit of back history. Uh, carbide light came out right around 1900 and was used underground up until uh, the mid-1930s when it was replaced by electric headlamps, um, which greatly improved safety. Um, since it removed an open flame from a potentially explosive atmosphere. The principle of how this lamp works is with a chemical called calcium carbide, which is a man-made mineral that reacts with water to create acetylene gas. I have some set up on this block here. We just add a little bit of water to the calcium carbide and ignite it. And see it's fairly violent reaction. So what the carbide light does is it controls that reaction. So you have an upper portion which is mostly a tank that contains water and a mechanism in this stem that controls how fast the water drips into your lower container which is filled with the calcium carbide. The faster the drip, the more acetylene is made, the larger your flame um, but it can get to a point where it blows the flame out or you build up too much pressure inside the lamp. And so as I move this mechanism here, you can see that water starts dripping off the end of the stem. Uh, this lamp here uh, is a handheld version. It's got the handles in the back. Um, here's another version here. It was worn on the hat. And so... This one I already have calcium carbide and water in. I um, already have it on a slow drip. We had just a little bit more there. And on the side of our lens, or the reflector, is a flint striker. And so to light one of these, and said we already have water reacting with the calcium carbide. We have acetylene gas coming out of this nozzle. You're going to place your hand over top of the lens with the side of your hand up against the striker. And as you slide your hand off the side, the striker will ignite the acetylene that's built up behind your hand. And so you can see that for as simple of a reaction as it is, that's actually a pretty, pretty bright flame. Um, and like I said before, this was a huge improvement over the teapot lamp, and not only the fact of less soot and smoke, but it's also a brighter brighter flame. Uh, miners would carry calcium carbide um, into the mine. This is an original um, tin here, and so this would be kept on person. And then as the lamp would run out, which varies on uh, well, how much calcium carbide you put in and how fast you have the water dripping in the style of lamp, um, but usually an hour and a half is what I get out of mine. I'm sure other people get, get others. So another version we have here. This is what's called the Fire Boss's Lamp. So it's a, as you can see, it's quite a bit larger uh, when compared to the, uh, to the hat worn. And so same principle, just a larger water tank larger calcium carbide tank, bigger reflector, a uh, little bit larger nozzle in the center there as well to allow for a larger flame. Um, but this was carried around by the, the fire boss as he would have gone around and done his pre-shift inspections through all the mine workings. Uh, a few other changes that they made to these. Um, with this one here, this is the same size water tank and carbide hopper as the fire boss's lamp but instead of having the lens mounted directly to it the acetylene gas would follow this hose up to the lens that was mounted on the hat and worn by the miner um, it's kept a little bit of weight off the head um, it is kind of awkward wearing a one of the carbide lights on your head so this helped keep keep the weight down um, like I said, this was worn 
worn on the belt. The belt would have been threaded through here. But that's uh said so that's the more in-depth coverage on the calcium, well, on the carbide light. And if anyone ever has any questions, um, feel free to either just comment on the videos, uh, check out the Facebook page, open a private messages on there as well, Band of Minds of Pennsylvania. Uh, really appreciate all the support, guys. I know this year, 2020, has been, been kind of off. We've only been able to get to one show. Uh, but I look forward to seeing everyone 2021. And again, thank you everybody for, for checking back in and hope everyone's doing well. Thank you.